Hello, in this video we have this problem. Here, the exponent here is on the left and we have the base as 2, which is quite very different. This is not equal to writing 2 to the power of 4. Here, the exponent is on the right, which is what we are used to. But look at this. We have the exponent on the left and the name of this operation is what we call titration. So, what we're going to do is, we are going to simplify these two problems. So, I'm going to start with what we are used to. If you have 2 power 3, then consider that. This is simply equals to 2 times 2 times 2. That is 2 into 3 places. Which is like saying 2 times 2 is 4. And 4 times 2 is 8. That's wonderful. Now, if you have 2 power 4, it simply equals to you have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That is 2 into 4 places. And consider we have multiplication signs here. So this is equals to 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And 8 times 2, we have 16. Now, if you look at what we have here, it simply means this is normal exponentiation. That means in exponentiation, we have repeated multiplications. So you can write here, repeated multiplications or multiplication. So we have repeated multiplication in exponentiation. This is what we are used to. So, but if you consider the iteration, it is something very different. The iteration is something very different. Now, if you have three here and you have two, it's quite very different from writing two to the power of three. And the same thing, if you have something like four, and you have two, it's quite very different from writing two to the power of four. So we are going to actually simplify these problems. Now, the meaning of writing four, and we have two here, is writing these two power two, power two, power two. This is the equivalent of this particular titration. That means in titration, we are having repeated exponentiation. This is repeated exponentiation. Instead of here, we have repeated multiplication. Have you seen it? Here is repeated exponentiation. And that is why the values that you're going to got from the iteration is going to be very large, very large values. Because of this reason, that is why some lecturers, teachers avoid this particular concept of the iteration because it normally gives large values at a very slight instant. Imagine you were teaching some student and you got this. Before you simplify this, it's going to take some time and this will give us a very large number. But we're going to do that. So let's go ahead and simplify this in the next slide. So we were actually comparing. We have 4 and we said this is not equal to this. And we have discovered that this is equal to 16. But what will be the value of this? And this is equal to writing 2 power 2 power 2 power 2. And we also agreed that the reason some teachers do skip this concept is because of large values that it normally brings. Now, if you want to evaluate this, you're going to start with the top first exponent, 2 power 2. And 2 power 2 
is 4. So that means you're going to have 2 power 2 power 4. Have you seen it? Then you consider this as well. This is 2 power 4. From here, he's 16. That means you're going to have 2 power 16. How can you evaluate this? 2 power 16. Now, if you are used with, or if you are used to some exponential problems, you will discover that 2 power 10 is simply equals to 1024. That is 32 times 32. Now, if 2 power 10 is 1024, that means 2 power 16 will be equal to, you can write 2 power 10 plus 6. Now, that being done, we can as well say from this particular identity, a power m plus n is equal to a power m times a power n. Have you seen it? So let's apply this identity here. You're going to agree with me that you're going to have, instead of 2 power 10 plus 6, you're going to have 2 power 10 times 2 power 6. Then 2 power 10 is 1024. And what is 2 power 6? 2 power 6 is simply equals to 64. That is 2 into 6 places. So that means you're going to have 1024 times 64. So we have this, that is 1024. And we have this, that is 64. Let's multiply these two numbers. 4 times 4, we have 16, 6 carry over 1, 4 times 2, 8 plus 1, 9, 4 times 0, 0, 4 times 1, we have 4, let's move to 6, 6 times 4, 24, we have 4 and carry over 2, 6 times 2, 12, 12 plus 2, the 2 that we had here, that is 14, we have 4 and carry over 1, 6 times 0, that is 0, 0 plus that 1, we have 1 and 6 times 1 we have 6 so let's add this up we have 6 9 plus 4 13 3 carry over 1 we add here 5 5 and we have 6 so the answer here 2 power 16 will give us 6 5 5 3 6 have you seen how large the number is that's one of the reasons this particular concept of titration is always avoided. Now, if you notice 2 power 4 is never equals to, we have this. This is just 16 and this is 65536. Five, now, I have this quick question for you. Go ahead and evaluate this. 5, 2. That means... I'm expecting you to have a very large value. So let's do that. Maybe you write your answer in the comments when you are done. That is it for the video. Thank you and goodbye.